here on this video, we're going to discuss the science of going viral and if it's really as important as most people say it is. My name is Joshua Giles and I help content creators make their first million dollars online by monetizing their audience. All right, so let's begin. Number one, most people, they always associate their success to, I got to go viral. And if you don't go viral, then they think that, well, you know, there's nothing that I can do. I don't understand. I'm not getting the views. What's happening? Let me break down the science of everything you need to know when it comes to virality and how important it is and also what you need to focus on so that you don't make the mistake, guys, hear me out. You don't make the mistake of attracting the wrong audience. I can't tell you how many times I have, I, you know, I have helped creators make millions and millions and over, over eight figures online. And we've done million dollar launches, million dollar weeks, uh, half a million dollar days. I mean, it's, it's crazy what I've been able to help creators like you do. But here's the problem. When I'm on a call or I'm analyzing, uh, you know, the creator's account, their Instagram, uh, their YouTube, Facebook, whatever it may be, I do deep dive in data. And I have had many people who have had millions of followers come to me and need our help. And I had to tell them, I'm sorry, you have no business. You have, you're not going to make any money. And they look at me and say, what are, you, what are you talking about? I have 2 million followers on uh, YouTube. I have half a million followers on Instagram. I say, no, 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 you don't get it. You have followers, you don't have buyers. And they're like, what do, you, what do you mean? What's the difference? There's a massive difference, okay? And the problem that I see that is happening in the content creator space is that if you emphasize virality over quality, you may destroy your business before it even starts and you think you're doing good. What, what do I mean by that? Watch this. If you sell digital products, I sell digital products. I am an expert in courses. I'm an expert in memberships and monetizing audiences, coaching, speaking. I'm an author. I've been on TV. You, you name it. I, I know that world, but watch this. If that's my expertise, matter of fact, let's use, let's use fitness. Let's use fitness, okay? If I'm a personal trainer and I post a video on something cool, because I have my dog sitting here, right? If I, if I post a video of my dog doing something hilarious or, you know, just cool, right? And it goes super viral. I'm talking 5 million, 10 million, 20 million views. And you get 100, 200,000 followers from that video. You're thinking, man, I'm about to sell so much personal training. I'm about, I'm about to sell so much, you know, uh, of my course on training. You are wrong because 200,000 followers from a dog video will never buy what you have to offer in fitness because it's the wrong traffic. Not all traffic is created equal and we need to get this out of our heads because here's the thing guys, when you're a beginner, oh I hate it so much, I'm telling you, it's such a, it's such a, a, a burden to me because you know what, I've went through it. I've went through getting amazing views or amazing subscribers only to find out that I had tire kickers and window shoppers. And I'm not, I'm not in the business for people just, uh, you know, being entertained and watch me. No, I'm in the business to make money. Okay. I'm in the business to create generational wealth. I'm in the business to create passive income for my family, for a future generation, to impact the people around me, to impact those who, who I have access to. I'm not in it for someone just to be chewing the popcorn and, and taking their phone and just doing the, oh, that's so cool. 
or, or let me subscribe to that. I'd like to see more of that. Do you see what I'm saying? So we fall into this problem that all views are created equal and that is, fur, that is as far from the truth as, as it gets, okay? And so the balance that I see that content creators have to, number one, they have to understand in their mind that if you only got 300 views, who cares? Why? You, you look at it, oh, I only got this video, only got 300 views. Do you know what 300 people in a room look like? Do you, do you understand that? Do you understand what 300 people in a room look like? 300 people in a room is huge. And if it's 300 of the right people, oh, Lord, we're talking a lot of money. We're talking if 300 people were a high-quality audience and you were able to close 2%, just 2%, let's just go 1%. You close 1% of 300 people, that's three people. What if your package is $25,000? Because I, I, I have packages that are 25,000, 50,000, 100,000, 10,000. I do, I do um, perpetuity deals, I do, I do all kinds of stuff. So I understand having packages that are extreme in value, right? And so what if you only sold three people at $25,000? you are talking over $70,000, $80,000 on 300 views. I hope this is starting to get clear for you. I know a person who's in the fitness industry only has like 17,000 followers. Not really that well-known at all. I mean, my background is I was actually a celebrity trainer. I was one of the top trainers to Major League Baseball, the NFL, NBA. I owned a gym down the street from the president of the United States um, in Palm Beach. I trained millionaires and billionaires with a B, okay? I was known. I had status. I had authority in that realm. But this man hardly even trained anybody. He trains people here and there. Has made $100 million dollars in his fitness industry because he's like I don't care about posting organically I don't that I don't care about the grind of that I do ads and so for someone to make a hundred million dollars in one of the top award winners in ClickFunnels history to do a hundred million dollars and just do ads that shows you something right there, that it's not truly about how many likes you get, how many followers. It's not, it, it's not as important as you think, how viral did my video go? Because some of his videos are like, no comments, hardly, few likes, few posts. You know, he's building attraction now, but in, in his, back in the day, still did $100 million with no followers hardly, because he knew ads, okay? And so you may say to yourself, Joshua, well, my God, if that's the way, teach me the way. I will, because guess what? I run ads. We have done, gosh, we've spent m more money in ads than most the average American makes in 30 years. Okay, you can do the math. All right, and so I understand data. I understand what it takes to scale. But here's the thing with ads. People think that if they apply ads, they're, all the problems are taken care of. Like, oh, yeah, if I, can just do, if I can just get some ads rolling, that's the answer. No, that's not the answer. Because if you're not doing good organically, or if you don't know how to reach the right person, like we're talking about now, if you don't know how to reach your, your customer, um, at your, your main avatar, your dream customer, if you don't know how to reach that person, ads is just going to burn money. It's just going to accelerate your failure quicker. All you're doing is making your failure faster because you don't know how to acquire the right person anyway. Now, going viral and the science behind it, here's the subject. Let me, let, let's get into the meat of what it takes to go viral the right way, okay? And this is what I love. Oh, I love this. All right. We have to understand that what is taking place in culture dictates the highway that we should use to accomplish the goal we have set out to accomplish. Okay, watch this. What is working in 2024? What is working? Reels. 
short form content, okay? That's working, but be warned, be warned, be warned, be warned, be warned. If you just say, well, I'm just gonna do short form content all the time and I'm gonna get my target client. Wrong, 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 wrong. I see so many people fall into this trap also because here's what happens, okay? People who watch shorts or reels only want to watch shorts and reels. People who watch long form content, like this, this is long form, watch long form content, meaning I have the ability, as you're hearing my voice, to get you to a place to like me, know me, trust me, so that when I show that I am qualified, to solve your problem, who's the first person you're going to connect with? Ding, 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 me. Because I've done it. And I'm confident in knowing that I can, I can help any content creator make a million dollars in a year. That's like, that's like low level. I have to speak at, even though that's high level for 90% of the people, there's about 10% that believe that's true. But in my mind, I know I actually can make them more than a million, Right? So one of my clients and people we've been working with, we've done three million in just, I don't know, maybe the last four months, five months, around that. And so when you look at it from that perspective, like, wow, that's a reality? Absolutely. In my head, I know how to go from a million dollars a year to five million, 10 million and plus, right? And so it's, it's compressing time to be able to create generational wealth quicker, right? And you have to learn how to do that. But short form videos will only attract short form people, long form, long form. Now, you, you, you're probably saying, Joshua, didn't you just tell me shorts are good? They are. Because shorts are what's working to attract large audiences, okay? Once you get people and more eyeballs to see you, they can position themselves to see your long form content, okay? That's, a, that's, that's one way of going about it, okay? There's many different ways, but one way of going about it is, is having short form content that can lead back to your long form content, right? Or give such a valuable nugget that, that you use your short form content to extract an email so that you can nurture them a different way. Because to be honest with you, when people are watching shorts, it's, it's really hard to sometimes to get them to transition to your long form, if that makes sense, right? And so what's the purpose of shorts? More reach, more people, more eyeballs, more data, especially if you're running retargeting ads on your page or hoofs. There's so many different angles. And so if I was to give you Step one, I would master short form content. Why? Because you have 60 seconds to, to get someone's attention, maintain their attention, and give them a call to action at the end to follow you, subscribe, comment, you know, whatever it may be. Now, I know people making millions of dollars through short form content, but again, you have to pick something, right? I believe that more money is to be made right here, right there, YouTube, okay? Do I neglect my short form? No, I have, we have half a million followers uh, in all our channels, me and my wife's channels, my wife and I's channels, um, Instagram, Facebook, her Instagram, our YouTube, 200, I don't know, 40 something thousand people, right? And so when we look at it, we have a lot of people watching what we do. But the thing is, if I was to say what makes the most money and what would prepare your people to really, to really make a lot of, to make millions of dollars is if you can get a volume of people and get one of these plaques, which is not hard to get, if you get 100,000 people that are the right people to subscribe to you, you are a multi-millionaire. Multi, not just, oh, I can make a million dollars and that's it. You got to figure out something else. Multi-millionaire 
if you draw on the right people and you have 100,000 followers, okay? Now, can you make a million dollars with less? Pfft, absolutely. I just showed you that a guy who had 17,000 followers made 100 million, okay? So it's possible, but that realm was ads. And so you have to learn how to attract your right fit client, your dream customer, through, again, putting out content, putting out content, putting out content, understanding what the market wants, understanding what your dream customer wants, understanding data of the person you're called to serve, okay, because that matters. And then you can take that data and begin to formulate a way to get people to pay for your services because that's the best way to do it. I have so much data. I know the pain you're going through. I can say words, you'll be like, how do you know? Because I know your desires. I know what keeps you up at night, all right? As a matter of fact, right now, comment below. Comment below, what is the number one thing that keeps you up at night as a content creator? I wanna, I wanna see those comments below because I'll answer them um, after this video. But I know, I know what keeps you up at night. And, and that's important because if you don't know who you serve, you can never provide the services or the value to them to get them a result, which in exchange, they hand you money to get that result. Does that make sense? That's how you make money in, in the digital era and, and uh, digital products and courses and coaching and memberships and all this realm of expertise that people are, are, are doing, right? So again, going viral, let's, let's really talk about our last point here on what you should do to get the right people in a virality situation. So you may be posting and saying, man, I'm only getting 100 views. Well, that's, a, that's if it's the right person, God bless you, keep going, okay? Because as you keep doing it, it's gonna go to 200, 300, 400, 500, 1,000 people seeing a reel with the proper language that draws in a buyer, not a follower. Oh, you've struck gold. You've struck gold. And so never look at your views as a, a determination of your success because I know people, like I said, reiterate, millions of views, 20, 30, 50 million views on a post and they have no business because people were entertained or it had nothing to do with their client, their target audience. Now, if you make educational content, hear me, if you make educational content and you go viral, you need to contact me, okay? You need to contact me. If you make educational content and you're a content creator, you need to subscribe to this channel. You need to follow me. You need to contact me, which I'll give information on how to do that um, in our description because I can help you make seven and eight figures, hands down, because I understand what people want and by making educational content and people who give value, you are the most important creator, okay? Content creators who create educational content are the best creators in the world because you're teaching people something. And so if you can give value, you will go viral, okay? What does virality look like? Virality could be 300 views. You're like, that's not viral. According to whose definition? Oh, think about it. According to, to the cat lover, who, who gets five million views a post but can't make a dollar, that's not viral. But if you call in people who have a lot of money and you can solve their problem in half the time, you can double your price. Are you following me? I know millionaires who don't flinch at a $100,000 offer. Okay, 100 grand, cool. I'll wire it in the next 10 minutes. Hey, so-and-so, assistant, wire that money. You can get this done in X amount of time? Cool, cool. Why? Because they understand buying their time. They understand that speed is the name of the game. But most people aren't there here. And if you're not there here, you can never be it. Your belief of who you are and what you give to this world has to be at a subconscious level in order to produce real value, in order for people to be magnetized to you, right? 
You are not a leader unless you have a following because that's truly what a leader means. It means someone follows you, all right? I'm in ministry, right? My wife's in ministry. We had one of the fastest, have one of the fastest growing ministries in America. People would ask, how are you doing this, okay? I understand what it takes for people to say, I want to latch on to your vision. I want to latch on to this individual. There's something different about them. I understand that world, okay? Now, from the business realm and what I do, I understand the same thing that way. And so there has to be value given, just like a minister gives value to people, a congregation, to help bring about a change in their life. It's no different from you being a content creator. You have to give value on the front end for people to even trust you that you can solve their problem on the back end. And if you don't do that, you do not have a business, okay? You have tire kickers, you have window shoppers. So my call out to you today is get your act together, get some sharp language, and I mean some filtering language, get your ideal client down to a, a niche so small that only you can fit into it, okay? Meaning, my God, is there anybody else around here, right? Start in health, wealth, or relationships because that's the three top categories in the world where all money is online. And figure out what area of the market you serve in health, wealth, or relationships. And if you can solve a problem and solve that problem with speed, I'm speaking right now to multimillionaires watching this broadcast. That's the name of the game. That's it, guys. And so when you learn that and you learn that process and you can truly hone in on the skills, my goodness, it takes to master something. See, the Bible talks about wisdom. And, you know, whether you're a believer on here or not, I, I speak biblical principles because they work. A principle works regardless if the individual wants to believe in it or not. Like gravity, you jump out of the plane of, out of a plane, you don't have to believe if gravity exists. You, you'll soon find out it exists. So principles are the same way. They work in the earth. Um, and so I adhere my life to biblical principles because they're, they have never failed. They're 100% uh, fireproof, and it works. And so in the Bible, it talks about remember the Lord that God, for it is he. Say it with me. He that giveth the what? Power or the word skill to create wealth. Okay, so wealth is spiritual. It's spiritual, all right? It's not, oh, you just stumbled across it. No, no, wealth, there's a spirituality to it, okay? And so it's he that giveth the skill, power, to create wealth. As you hone in your skill set, right? Like, for example, I help content creators make their first seven figures online by monetizing their audiences, right? I do that. Or I help content creators make seven and eight figures online. That's, that's who I help. Okay. Now, if I niche it down even more and I say, well, what areas do they fall into? Well, I help content creators who have 50,000 subscribers or more in the educational realm field make seven and eight figures. You see how I just went down even further. So that, that removes the cat lovers, that removes the edutainment, that removes the, the entertainment spectrum of followers. I'm only focused on followers that have 50,000 or more who are in the educational market, but they don't know how to make their first seven figures. Do you see how I went down different layers? And if I do that in a reel, I don't know how many views I'll get, may get 500. But guess what? If I got 500 people to hear that message and it's the right people, I can now put money, add money to that reel and reach 10,000 people in a day. And so I just amplified my niche like that. Are you getting it? I'm giving you these nuggets that I'm teaching you right now are worth millions of dollars. Absolutely. I teach this to people who have paid 
multiple five figures, some six figures to hear this language because it works and it doesn't take six months to work. It can work in 24 hours. It can work in 48 hours. <laughs> Guys, when you have strong language, you know who you're called to serve, you've niched down far enough, like they say, riches, niche, riches are in the, you got it, niches, all right? When you've done that, and you're like, I know, Joshua, that I know, that I know that I'm called to this person and I can solve this problem and they're going to pay me very well for it because they have money. They're not tire kickers. They're not window shoppers. I got education value out there. I know it. And I say, okay. And you put that video out there, that reel, and it gets 50 views. Great. Now let's put $50 to $100 to that reel. Oh, the views are going up. Wow, now you got 2,000, 3,000 views. All right, let's put another $200, $100 to it. Okay, five, 10,000 views. Watch this. And you take that video, 60 second long, that calls out your ideal client in the first three to five seconds because that's what we call a hook, right? And... We go in there and we say, you know what? Let me create a custom audience of those who watch 50 to 75% of this video or 75% to 100% of this video. And those 5,000 views turn into 500. And you say, whoa, whoa, you just cut my views down by, by a, a lot. What are, you, what are you doing? Watch. I gave the hook in the video. I called out my target audience. But if they jump ship in five and 10 seconds long, I don't want them. I want someone that listened to 75% of that video. And if someone heard the hook on the front end and watched 75% of my video, I know for a fact that's my client. Oh, it's, it's getting good. Now watch this. I create a custom audience. And then I create a lookalike audience based on that information. And now I'm telling the algorithm to only find people that fit into this little tiny box. And when you find people that fit into this little tiny box, I want you to start sending them to me. Mm -mm -mm. These are secrets that people just don't share. Most don't even know. All right? So, this was a powerful video, guys. I want you to heart it, like it, subscribe for more where I will help you make your first million dollars online. We'll see you later.